Hi, my name is Tina Gilmore Johnson. I'm the lead facilitator of the Every Child a Swimmer program that we host annually. The Every Child a Swimmer program is a four week program. Uh, the kids come in, they get assessed as to where they are and in their water comfort. And then we take them from stages one through four and they get customized training depending on where they are. Some are terrified of the water, some are a little bit more comfortable. So we just take that skill that they're at and we try to advance it just a little bit over those four weeks. And typically what we find is that the kids, by the end of the four week program that were super scared of the water uh, are comfortable. Some of them are even starting to swim uh, effectively. There's so many unneeded deaths every year in the state and here. Uh, from kids that fall in pools or lakes or the water and, and can't get out. In the time that we've been doing this, we've taught a lot of kids how to get to the side of the pool, so we probably saved quite a few lives. Children that come to the program uh, range from uh, being little fish to being deadly afraid of the water to the extent that they don't even want their feet in the water. By the end of the four weeks, usually they're able to get in the water and get out of the water when they need to. It is a free program that we offer. The ages that we serve are between five and 11 years of age. We do ask that they attend all four sessions so that they get the maximum benefit of participating in the program. The program is open to any Pinellas County residents. So the children will start with basic uh, water skills such as blowing bubbles, getting their face wet, uh, will progress on to learning to float, learning to kick properly, the proper swim strokes, uh, and then putting it all together hopefully by the time that four weeks is up. While the kids were taking their swim lessons, we took the opportunity to educate the parents on hands-only CPR. This way, you know, they were sort of distracted and, you know, it was a great time to get their attention to teach them a great life-saving act. Jordan's getting her swimming lessons today. We hope that she can swim on her own, be safe. You know, when we're in the pool, we can feel comfortable with her not being in a floaty. We want to get out of that phase. So today I saw her get comfortable, which was a great sign. We're, we're very happy that we signed up for this program, actually. Two years ago, we had a kid that was just death, deadly afraid of the water. And Tina, uh, one of our members, uh, took him under her wing and by the end of the program, uh, he was in the water and able to get out of the water. Uh, I just love that uh, we're able to help kids uh, learn uh, how to swim uh, and probably save some lives in what we're doing. Olivia was very nervous when we first started, uh, wouldn't stop crying. They allowed her to bring her little baby doll into the pool with her to kind of help alleviate some of the stress. And by the end of the swim lesson, it looked like she was actually able to get in the water and be a little bit more comfortable with it. That is the first time she's gotten in the water without me. Today I went in the water without my mom. They helped me to be brave. You did so good. You're going to come back next week? I've been participating in this program for about eight years now, and it's really fulfilling to see, especially the young children, uh, go from being very scared of the water to having a good time and, and doing it safely. It's really, really rewarding for me. I gain a, a sense of pride knowing that I've helped some child perhaps avoid a, a fate such as drowning. And, you know, it's, it feels good to know that you're making a difference.